both of these fighters very quick, Jeremy. Yes, very quick. And look at Sam Franchi to have a, a distinct advantage in the striking game. But once it gets down to the ground, that is where Sam Bath Kuhn lives. And so Sam Franchi is going to watch out. And there it is, right to the ground is Sam Bath Kuhn. And he gets those submissions from unorthodox spots. So Sam Franchi is going to have to be very careful against this fighter. Franchi now into a full mount again. No strikes to the head of a downed opponent. But Franchi wailing away at the torso of Sam Bath Kuhn. Well, again, you got to look like you're trying to do damage. And the mount, not necessarily the best position in the amateur division. You normally want to stick to a side control position. There's just so many more options. But what that's, this does open up is these punches right to the upper chest. Some wall walking now from Sam Bath Kuhn. So he's not content to take these punches to the chest. Kuhn trying to get out from the wall. Franchi now pushing him away from the cage. And again, still in a mount position. Now trying to trap an arm, maybe look for a submission. Again, no strikes to the head of a downed opponent, but a lot of shots to the body from the champion. Look for Sam Franchi. And again, Sam Bath Kuhn is just eating these shots to the, the gut. Again, he's a very strong fighter. But Sam Franchi just not giving Sam Bath Kuhn any room to breathe here in this top position early on. Franchi has been in charge of this fight since it started. Coach is advising him to watch the leg, make sure again, no twisting leg locks allowed. But a straight ankle lock is permitted. Referee right on top of the action. And again, both fighters trying for an ankle submission, neither one of them able to finish it off. Well, and good work as both of the, them recognize the danger, and you could see the continuity in their jiu-jitsu. So that's a, a good sign here, and again, showing the quality of these amateur fighters, and again, why they stick with these rules to get them to work all aspects of the game, not just punching and backstanding. And I'm excited to see how Sam Athkun responds to being on the ground for such a long time. Sam Franchi went five rounds to win his fight before eventually winning by TKO in the fifth round against Binder Paul Nanara. Big kick to the midsection, followed with a nice shot here, Jeremy. He's got those hands deep, and there comes that slam you talked about. And he just tries to use those positions. And if you look, when Sam Bath Kuhn was on the way down, he was locking up the guillotine, and Sam Franchi very aware of that. So as he got the slam, he worked his head out to try and make sure that he did not put himself into a dangerous position. Franchi continues to fight at the end of round one, and that's round one in the books here at Hard Knocks 49. So quickly out for round two, and starting with a nice crisp leg kick is the champion. And again, closing the distance very quickly, and another slam by Sam Franchi. This time he ends in half guard, transitions right away to side control, and now trying to take the back of Sam Bath Kuhn. Trying to squirt out the back. He looks like he might have a body scissors here, or a body triangle, rather. Now trying to find the choke and squirming into a mount position. Spent a good long time in this position in round number one. Landing great big shots to the body, but now a nice sweep by Sam Bath Kuhn. And now we'll see what the ground game of Sam Franchi is on the bottom. We know how effective Sam Bath Kuhn is. Let's see what he can do on top. Nice punch to the midsection. Franchi trying to spider his way out of there. Andy Social right on top of the action, but with the speed and angles that these flyweights are moving, he's just finding trouble getting out of the way sometimes. Franchi back into a full guard. Trapping the arm of Sam Beth Kuhn. Maybe now looking to use a Kimura as a sweep. Kuhn recognizing that and changing the position. Now posturing up. Again, for those joining us in the amateur division, there is no striking to the head of a downed opponent. So that's why you're seeing no strikes to the head. And now it looks like an, another ankle submission attempt by Sam Franchi, but that one has been sussed out by Sam Bath Kuhn. And now he's trying to get to work. Sam Bath Kuhn's body bending in a shape. It's probably not meant to go. Now Sam Franchi holding on. Back on top here after using that submission attempt to change the position into side control. 
and has to be very careful there. Legs are currently tied up in knots as both these fighters, you can see there uh, a great shot as, as both fighters just have their legs tied up. And now it looks like a Kimura attempt. There's a lot of pressure being put on the shoulder of Sam Bath Kuhn. And he pops out of it. I was speaking to referee Andy Social during the intermission and now an arm triangle. If Franchi can get over to the other side, this could be trouble for the challenger. Good work defending right now by Sam Bath Kuhn. And he's able to sweep over, but a triangle attempt. The continuity of this jiu-jitsu is fantastic. And that triangle is in deep. Kuhn now trying to flip out of it. Franchi trying to apply the pressure now, transitioning into an arm bar. Kuhn could be in trouble here, Jeremy. The arm bar locked back, not able to get it over the shoulder. What a defense from the challenger. And right back over into north-south, and Sam Bath Kuhn laying some punches down to the chest of Sam Franchi. This is fantastic. Fighters again continuing a quick start to round number three. Nice kick by Franchi, responded with some punches from Kuhn. Oh, punches landed from the champion in that exchange. Kuhn, though, asking him to bring it on. Knees now to the midsection. Again, no knees to the head at all in amateur here in Calgary. I can tell you without a doubt, these guys know that they are being watched by lots of people around the world. They're trying to put on a show. There is a little bit of danger here in this position because Sam Bath Kuhn is trying to sneak on kind of a reverse triangle, but Sam French able to sneak out and gets to a double leg position. But now an Oma Plata attempt that I just, these guys are just unreal in the jujitsu that they're doing, both countering and attempting moves. Both throwing everything they have trying to get that coveted Hard Knocks title as an amateur. Sam Franchi's already had a taste of it, but he knows you're not a true champion until you've defended your belt, and he's looking to do that here tonight against the challenger. Now, he's probably got two rounds in the books so far, but Sam Bath Kuhn, a very talented fighter, and showing the opportunity to end the fight at any moment. At this point, tied up both fighters. Rolling through, Franchi trying to find the back. Kuhn rolling through, hearing a, some appreciation from this Calgary crowd. Sam Bath Kuhn doing an excellent job trying to put his weight onto Sam Franchi and trying to wear him down. Sam Franchi very fast and very explosive, but if you can carry that weight, even though it's only 125 pounds, if you can carry that weight, it's going to make a difference in this fight. And again, it is five three-minute rounds as uh, Sam Franchi looks to defend his belt. So again, Sam Bath Kuhn on top now, trying to find his opening on the champion. Some high-level jiu-jitsu from both of these amateurs as Kuhn try, keeps Franchi down on the ground. Franchi throws one hand behind to hold Kuhn there, maybe looking to get stood up here, Jeremy. Well, and if he can get a switch, if what he's trying to do is to switch inside, this is a classic wrestling uh, counter to a leg attack, and if he can switch in, but this is good pressure by Kuhn, that's what he wants to do is to elevate that leg to be able to stand up, but good work by Kuhn recognizing it and transitioning into a different position to stop Sam Franchi from, from switching on him. Short time left here in uh, round number three of uh, five possible rounds between our challenger and our champion. Currently it's Sam Bath Kuhn on top. Sam Franchi now trying to attack the leg, looking to drive through and does, reversing the position. Nice leg attack to end the round here and again, the champion doesn't look like the fresher of the two, but we know he's got the gas to go five rounds. Well, and he does have the gas to go five rounds, and he is known to sweat, and there's a nice exchange there. Danger on the leg by Sam Bath Kuhn, and I said earlier on that he will take, he will lose the battle to win the war, and he lost a big kick there to get the opportunity for that submission, but again, great work by Sam Franchi to get away from that, now using that overhook position these guys just moving so quick from position to position, and it's just really top-level jiu-jitsu. So Franchi holding down his challenger at this point. Three close rounds here in the Hard Knocks amateur main event. So far, round number four of a possible five. Intermission control now with Sam Bath Kuhn. 
but for him to try and shrimp out and then switch this to an Omoplata, and it is in fairly deep. Sam, ba or Sam Franchi must deal with this position before he can try anything else. Franchi trying to free that arm. With Sam Beth Kuhn trying to finish the fight. Franchi trying to just stack it up, keep his weight out, and there he takes his arm loose and uses it to drop a bomb to the midsection of the challenger. And it was a guillotine attempt that Sam Beth Kuhn rolled through, but now it's a rear naked choke attempt, and the elbow is in deep. This could be over in just a moment. The champion looking to defend his title as he continues to push in and try and choke out the champion. The champion rolling it, or the challenger rather, rolling into it. Sam Bathcoon trying to take the pressure off. Sam Franchi trying to choke out the challenger as he gets ready and tries to defend his championship. And now Sam Bathcoon comes out and a triangle attempt immediately from the champ. Look at the continuity from one submission to the other. Sam Bath Kuhn in tight, and Sam Bath Kuhn needs to find a way to get free here. Referee right on top of the action, and there is a ton of pressure. That is the tap. Sam Bath Kuhn taps to Sam Franchi, who defends his championship here at Hard Knocks 49. What a fight between these two amateurs.